Okay, ladies, since Austin wanted to show you um, how I have my sand lined up on my little stool, um, I figured this would probably be a good time to just do a, like a quick little show of um, my workstation of where I do my glitter mix, okay? Um, please excuse a lot of the mess. It definitely needs a good cleaning. Um, but yeah, I have this like chest foot thingy. Um, it does open up. It's at the foot of my bed, okay? Um, and I have a king size bed, and this thing runs almost the entire length of my bed with the exception of the one part where my cart is, okay? And I have all of my sand lined up along the edge. Okay, these are mixes, but these are my sands. But I have them lined up along the edge so that way I could see every color of sand if I want to use the sand. Um, I also keep my bigger jar of the um, crystal clear larger uh, glitter dots. Uh, this one is the 12 ounce bottle. I keep that up here as well and my diamond dust. Okay. Um, speaking of diamond dust, I had somebody ask me, one of my ladies from eBay asked me what exactly diamond dust is but then she emailed me and said that she found it, so, but yeah, I need to get some more. It's already more than half gone, but I also keep my diamond dust up here as well, okay? Um, and then as far as my glitters, okay, I have the cart that has the 10 drawers, okay? And the bottom one holds all of my larger, um, glitters from like Recollections, Martha Stewart's. Um, it holds all of my larger ones since they weigh the most I figured I'd put those on the bottom and that way it won't be like up near the top. But that's where I keep my larger containers and then my smaller containers are in the next two as well as um, these little guys from Recollections and Martha Stewart's. But these are all my fine glitter and extra fine glitters. I just bought this one here because it has um, the blaze mix in it and I have a mix in mind that I want to use the blaze for and they don't sell the blaze by itself anymore so I had to get the whole con the whole thing just to get that blaze okay and then anyway the fourth drawer holds all of my tensils every color of tensil they go all the way back to the back okay so I have Martha Stewart tensils recollection tensils um, now all of the ones that are in these guys, these aren't the actual colored tinsel that are in these guys. Um, I buy them separately and I reuse the empty things. Um, so a lot of these don't actually belong in those. Okay, like this one here says that it's a charcoal. Well, that's not charcoal, that's silver. Um, but I, I just, I reuse these. Um, so yeah, uh, but those are my tinsels. And then in the next one, I just got these micro beads from um, the Martha Stewart collection because it has a lot of the cool um, colors. They're not deep colors, they're softer colors. Um, but it's got like your clear. Um, does it give the names of these? No, not without opening it. Um, but like you can see, that one says tourmaline. Um, yeah, but it's got the softer colors. So they're not the deeper colors like um, the Recollections ones are like the deep red, um, the deep purple. You know, it's, it's not the deeper ones, it's softer colors. So I just picked that one up from Martha Stewart's. I had a 50% off coupon last week, so I got that for 50% off. Um, I've got this package that came in from eBay a couple weeks ago with the smaller dots, 12 different colors that I haven't opened yet. Um, I also keep my larger hexagons, my smaller glitter dots, um, the larger hexagons in these containers, my diamond shaped or rhombus, um, and then I also have like my hearts and my stars in here as well. 
So that's all of those. And then in this one's my Mylar. Um, some are hand cut Mylars. Um, all of the ones that are in these containers are my hand cut Mylar, Mylar that I've cut myself. Um, and then these are ones that, you know, I bought from like Martha Stewart's and Recollections. So that's where I keep all of my Mylar. And then the ones in the baggies I got in swaps. So yes, I use those as well. And then in this one here, this is all like my chunkier glitters. Um, the, it's not quite big enough to be the large hexagons, they're just chunkier glitters. And I don't know if you could see that, but these are more like um, a rectangular shape. So, there's that one. And um, I got a couple of these, which these are also the rectangle shaped. And then these are like pink and white. It's like pink on one side, white on the other. I got those, and um, yeah, and this is also where I keep my clear micro beads. I need to get more of those, but that's where I keep all the chunkier glitter. And yes, I keep them upside down because it's easier for me to see what color it is than if they're all in there like that. <laughs> so that's why they're upside down so I can see what color they are. Um, and then this one here is where I keep all of my spangles. Um, and, oh, yeah, I put this one in there. This is for an order for another lady. Um, my, my lady from um, eBay. So that, that's her order. Let me take that out. Anyway, um, this is where I keep all of my spangles. And I just ordered these. As, as you can see, I really needed them. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah. That's where I keep all of those, so I'll just go through, combine the rest of those, and um, fit them in the drawer in the back. And um, I get these here from Hobby Lobby. These are the stars and the flowers. Um, more stars here and the stars and moons. I got those. Um, and then I have like the crushed sheet, seashells. Um, these beautiful blue hearts, um, my Mickey Mouses, um, but yeah, this is where I keep all of my spangles and um, stuff that I use in my mixes, and my seed beads, the little containers that I get from all different places that has different stuff in there, um, and then I also reuse these. Um, the larger ones, not not so much the smaller ones, um, but the larger ones. Um, I'll put like glitter mixes in these and send them off in swaps. And um, I'll also put different spangles inside of these once they're empty to send off for swaps. Um, but yeah, so that's why I keep all of those tiny ones. And Trinity was playing the other day and she spilled quite a few in the bottom of my drawer. But at least she told me. She came in and she goes, Auntie G, I was playing with your tiny glitters. So, anyway. And then in this drawer, <coughs> this is where I keep my um, chalks and my crayons and my eggshells. Okay. So, um, all of my shredded chalk is in here. Um, chalk that still needs to be shredded. And my crayons. My crayon shavings, my box of crayons back here, and my eggshells. Speaking of eggshells, I completely forgot, and this just reminded me. Abigail and Austin started doing eggshells the other night, and I, I completely forgot. They're still sitting on the kitchen counter. They've been soaking for like three days now, so they should be nice and colorful. Oopsie. And then on this top one, this is normally where I keep my... Um, measuring spoons and my Fimo, which I just did that video on my Fimo, so I need to put all my Fimo back up in here. But these are all my wheels, um, my wheels that I get. I send these off for swaps and um, I get them for prizes. Um, a couple, oh I say it was about a month ago now, um, there was this person on eBay who was 
selling the wheels, um, starting the auctions off at a penny, and I bid no more than like 12 cents, and um, even if I didn't win, they sent me a second chance offer. So I paid anywhere from 6 cents to 12 cents for these wheels. So, yeah, I picked up as many as they would let me order. <laughs> Um, and they're, they're different. Some are flowers, some are hearts, some are animals. Um, yeah, there's some really cute animals in here too. But yeah, there's an angry bird. But yeah, so, um, I, I, like I said, I didn't spend any more than 12 cents on these wheels. And, um, and to me it's worth it because, you know, throwing them in a swap, throwing them in as prizes, you know, and my razor blades to cut my female. My little gift cards that I use to cut my Fimo. Um, I have more molds somewhere. Don't know where they are. But yeah. So that's usually on the top shelf. Um, but yeah. So that's where I keep everything that I use to do my glitter mixes. There's my shoe. <laughs> um, that's where I do keep everything. So that way when I'm sitting here doing my mixes, um, everything's right, accessible, easily seen. You know, and I have a work surface that I can work on because my computer desk is nothing but a jumbled mess all the time. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. You know, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, I do have a larger mess of, like, my actual acrylic stuff um, that I use, but that is nowhere near ready to be seen by anybody else's eyes but mine and my husband's and my kids so um, once I get that cleaned up and cleared up I'll be more than happy to show that so yeah hope you guys enjoyed seeing this um, if you guys have any questions let me know have a good one bye